Hey everyone, my name is AJ and welcome to the Manifestation 101 series. In today's video, we will be discussing one of the most profound manifestation techniques out there, which is acting as if, okay? So if you're interested at all in spirituality, self-development, and inspirational videos, please stay tuned to the end of this video so you can get the maximum benefit from this lesson. Okay, so let's get into today's topic. So you might be wondering, well, what is acting as if and how do I do that, okay? So acting as if is basically living in the present moment as if you currently have the thing in which you desire, right? that person, that place, that thing, that experience that you're looking to manifest in your life, right? You're acting as if you already have it, right? It's kind of like that notion, fake it till you make it. But we're going to divulge into how to actually do that and the steps that require. It's a lot easier than it seems, okay? So just bear with me to the end of this video and we're going to have all your questions, comments, and concerns straightened out when it comes to this manifestation technique. So when acting as if, um, we're transmitting frequencies out into the universe that we already have the desire in question, right? So um, when we emit gratitude and appreciation for the things that we already have in our lives, we're telling the universe in essence that we would love to receive more of that on a grander scale and on a higher vibration, right? So acting as if basically allows you to be fully immersed in the present moment and to perpetuate that gratitude and that appreciation for the things that you already have, but you're acting as if you already have the things that you are wanting to manifest in question, right? Or the things in question that you want to manifest. So for example, let's say I want to manifest, you know, a healthy romantic relationship with the partner of my dreams. You act as if you are already in that relationship, okay? You start taking yourself out on dates, okay? You take yourself out on the date that you would want that dream partner to take you on. Let's say you wanna go to a five-star restaurant and you want that dream partner to take you to that restaurant and to shower you with love and affection and attention that you would want from you know your counterpart you do that to yourself first okay you do that you do that to yourself first and you persist in that right when i say persist in that i mean you consistently persist in the mindset that you already have who you want to manifest because you become the person in question right it's it sounds very um it sounds very yogic. It sounds very kind of like elusive, but I hope you guys are understanding what I'm trying to convey here. We have to become the person that we wish to manifest. That is in our best interest. So when we become that person first, all that there is left to do is for the universe to align us to that person with that same vibration, right? Um, they say that everything in creation has already been created. So if everything that we want has already been created, it's already out there, it's up to us to align to that via our frequencies and our vibratory nature. So if you're loving on yourself, if you are loving yourself to the fullest, then you are more able to attract that person that you would want to love you to the fullest and vice versa, okay? Um, there is a quote by this uh, world-renowned poet and philosopher from way back in the day, right, named Rumi. And he says, what you seek is seeking you. And I truly believe that. That's truly, um, I wish more people would uh, subscribe to that notion because it's so true. And that's basically where persisting and acting as if comes into play. Um, they say you don't always get the love you deserve but you get the love that you think you deserve so if you think you deserve love and you're not showering yourself with that love that you ultimately want it's kind of like i always like to say you're hustling backwards right you're manifesting backwards you are not 
putting supreme faith into the universe by loving on yourself first that you are ready and you're open and available you're receptive to receiving that love from another person because you're not giving it to yourself first right so ultimately that is what acting as if means like i said in the beginning of the video faking it till you make it okay and when i say faking it till you make it you already have what you desire it's already here okay you have to know that persist in that there is no if ands or but okay i always like to say it's not of the matter of if you get a manifestation but when you get the manifestation and when you have that mindset there is no doubt or questioning whether or not what you want is going to come to you you already know that so basically it's just you know waiting until it comes to you you know it's like that euphemism that a lot of spiritual practitioners or a lot of law of attraction people on youtube who talk about law of attraction uh when they talk about um the euphemism when it comes to amazon packages right when you order something off Amazon, you're not constantly checking, checking, checking whether or not it's going to get here. You have faith in Amazon that you paid your money, so you are going to get your package. It's not of the matter of if, but when, okay? Amazon's going to be right at your door. They're going to contact you. They're going to let you know that they're here with your stuff. So you have to have that ultimate faith in in the supreme, in the infinite intelligence, in God, and whatever it is that you call you know, that energy that, you know, dictates everything, you know, you have to have that type of faith in yourself and in that energy that what you want is already on its way and it's here. Okay. So to recap, acting up as if simply means living in the present moment and being fully immersed and grateful and appreciative of the things that you have and knowing without a shadow of a doubt that what you've already asked for is on its way. And the best way to act as if is truly using yourself as basically a reflection of what you are trying to manifest externally and you using yourself and you filling yourself up and you loving on yourself if you want a romantic relationship you being the best partner to you that you can be if you want finances you being responsible with your finances and you um investing in yourself how you would want a company or a client to invest in you and so on and so forth we have to project that image in those situations onto ourselves lovingly first before our external before our internal will reflect it on the external okay it takes commitment it takes persistence consistence and it takes a uh, dedication but you can do it and you'll have it everything is already been created everything in creation is already here it's up to us to align to that those desires that we want okay so i love you guys so much if you found any value in this video please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel uh my website is on the i think my website is going to be in the description box below my instagram is going to be in the description box below i also do personal readings for uh i do personal tarot readings so if you guys are interested in that and if you want to delve more into personal development and self-reflection please let me know and uh yeah we could get a reading going for you guys i love you guys so much and please take care okay bye bye